as a nation than just being ruled over by the absolute monarch. You know what I'm saying? That, that's how they had the conscription. The conscription started. Jamila doesn't sound like she's buying that either. Y'all have already missed. Hey, no, no, you've already missed. Industrial Revolution. Baxter, if you want to ask. We, we've had our hand up for a long go time. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay. I don't they've, see. Well, they've added everything. I mean, basically, the, the concept of industrial revolution is, you know, uh, to, to gain more products to promote wealth. I already said that. And so, I mean, I'm just reiterating the concept again. Yeah, I, I don't need duplication. I need something new. Because not that there are things. Go ahead. There's not competition for raw materials around the world, which led to global imperialism. Going back to that imperialism thing again. The Industrial Revolution, this is what I'm looking for on this. Number one, number one, you had the, the, the improvement in the, in the techniques and you had the mass production of goods through the use of machines. And what this basically did, and, and you, you hit on this, people moved to the cities. When they moved to the cities, it weakened the monarchs. When it weakened the monarchs, it also led to a middle class, which nobody has mentioned yet. And this middle class, this middle class also began to go for political rights. So as the monarch began to weaken, the rise of the people began to go up. So these are several things that I want you to think about in reference to this. The other thing was... What was the last sentence you said? The, the, the rule the, of the people, the, the power, the power of the people went up, more democratic rights. Now the other thing with this is... They mass you guys mass produce shirts in the activity, but they began to mass produce weapons, which is really, really important, which meant that you had nationalism that had been going on. Now you had the raw materials, not the raw materials, but the industrial goods to be able to fight wars, and basically you just needed the match to set the spark. These are the things we're talking about with the Industrial Revolution. You can get into imperialism. I'm not necessarily going there just yet because you still had to fight some wars before you really did some of these imperialist things. Um, last correct answer... I believe it was from y'all. Pick me a category. Go ahead, Mark. Clear it off. And hit the light, too, if you would, behind you. you want to, to the left. The yeah. By the phone. Um, yeah. chapter one, five. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, that one. Or chapter five. Yeah. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Well, I don't even see anything. Chapter three for five. Chapter three for five, go. We've got our second picture here. Oh, Who, who's gonna draw it? Who's gonna draw it? Uh, gotta go, gotta go. <laughs> this one's a lot easier. Alex, that's what I need you to draw right there. On the nine, one minute, go! Train car. 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 Glasses. It is glasses! All right. Who in glasses is most likely to be in a glasses advertisement? It is actually Richard. <laughs> That was the question, yeah. Just, just as a reminder, we we got to go ahead and reiterate that. There is Richard. So, with that in mind, go ahead and clear it off, Mark, if you would. Pick me a category. Go. That's five for getting that right and five for identifying Richard. Go. Pick me a category. Chapter two for five. Chapter two for five. Traits of liberalism. First hand I see. Next group has it. Go, next group. Five. Got it, Bex Group. Traits of liberalism. Five. First hand I see afterwards. I, I think it is going to be you. Four. Three. Having the right to, to vote and raise up against the, the powers. To Two. Having, no, she, the cameraman is shaking her I know. That's not a good sign. Anybody in the group can say. Power vested in the people. Government is a servant of the people. Jeff's got it. Go ahead. Your group's got it. Right. Liberalism is progress. It's an op the optimistic. Liberalism lesson. believes in progress. One, two, three, four, five. The inevitability of progress, as you said. Tell me more. The, the glass is, is always half full. It believes, it believes in, in the ability of people to rise up. The rise Optimism. Tide. The glass is always half full. One, two, three, four. Uh, yeah, half full. Go ahead. The rising tide lifts all boats. The rising tide does lift all boats. I can go with that. That's go ahead. Tell problem. me more. All right. Um, a uh, harmony of interests. What is in, the harmony? That is, is the rising tide. Yeah. Go ahead. Well, it, it's that it's that that countries and and people have have interest in common. So what's good for one country over here is good for the other country over here. Can you here. give me an example from an article? Um, an example from anybody in the group. Article. Five, four, um, um, three. Uh, of, of what you just said. Two. A. Uh, I'm waiting for an article. One. Somebody say something. Come on. Go ahead. Um, well, we have like. Increased our ties with India over the last few years. Right down, right down, go ahead. We've increased our ties with India over the last few years because they're, you know, beginning to grow as a country and have over a billion people, and so we can give them our goods 
which make them... I can go with that. One, two, three, four. Bush the U.S. and India have been yeah. increasing their Bush relationship. Is, Any others? Bush is four. the one that, that, that three. brought this over. What's that? Bush is the one that brought this over. He believed that he could, like, kind of even... I don't need any more. I need a different so, example, too. Uh, 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 with the, China with the as don't a, fear the dragon. We what about don't fear the dragon? Um, we can look at China as a friend, not as a threat. Because, uh, uh, because of the economic reason, we are, uh, we are selling our... Uh, Sounds, it's not a journal. Uh, <laughs> Go ahead. We are spending our money in then. China and then get, oh, using their labors. The China article, what do we need from China? Labor and cheap labor. goods. Okay, cheap production, cheap goods. We also need something else. Well, we still have all the market from it, and we still we need their money. We need their money. So we need labor from China. We need cheap goods. We also are borrowing from them. What do they need from us? They need the markets. They, they need the markets. markets. One, two, three, four. Really good examples. Click it, Mark. Half full. Inevitability of progress. Harmony of interest.